Okay, here's something that uh, we've been working on a lot at the Energetic Forum. It's uh, Tesla's wireless radiant energy transmission. Uh, wireless. And uh, they're, they're actually working on this at MIT. And uh, we'll probably see this for in-home use on computers and such in the not too distant future. And it's uh, pulsed magnetic waves as opposed to uh, sending stuff over um, hard line they're going to be able to transmit short distance uh, with wireless and Nate or Nat over at the energetic forum has has done the whole thing and he's got a working uh, model I think he's down in uh, Australia New Zealand and uh, I'll be trying to replicate this uh, there's another guy named Bodkins in England who's got this going right now but um, I haven't got that far. I've just started working on it. But I promised these guys I'd, I'd start experimenting. So anyway, here's where I'm at. I've got a little um, high voltage tester. It's uh, something I, I got for checking the Christmas tree lights. And uh, what it does is when it gets uh, close to high voltage, that white part lights up and blinks and makes a noise and detects the high voltage so you don't have to pull the bulbs out. Very handy. But it works great for this... Uh, a wireless energy testing. Now what I've got set up here is one of my little CFL units that is run by a 555 timer and this is the circuit here and what it is is a, uh, a 555 timer that sends a square wave over to a power transistor into an ignition coil and then lights up the CFL um, that was connected. Now I've taken that off. This is what the coil looks like inside. It's an identical one of these. It's a car ignition coil. I put in a 12 volt pulse and comes out thousands of volts on the high energy side. And I got this little uh, tower here with a ball. Uh, Tesla recommends using a sphere and I've just used a little Christmas ball with tin foil on it to, to try to replicate this and I'll show you what else I've got going on here is the earth ground. This is something else we've been working on quite a bit is earth ground, especially Bodkins. Um, he is really into the earth battery and the earth ground. And um, Stubblefield, um, Nathan Stubblefield had an earth battery that he's working on. Anyway, that goes outside into the ground out there. I have a stake in the ground from my earth ground. And on this experiment, it was really evident. So I wanted to show this, that the earth ground on energy transmission wirelessly makes a difference. So I'm going to turn this on. And uh, I'm going to crank up the power here. And you'll see the thing come on. And that's being transmitted from this little ball here through the air over to here. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this down a ways. I'm going to put the sphere on here with this wire. I'm going to turn this down. Okay, now um, I, can, I can turn frequencies here on this and change the frequencies. And this was something that was real handy in this experiment was to see the frequencies that this thing actually transmits at. And... And there are several ways you can do it. You can crank up the power to it, or you can vary the frequencies, or you can add this earth ground. And this was what I really liked was the earth ground part of it. There's a wire leading off here. You can see my hand actually does something here. And that's a capacitance with my hand that will actually make this thing uh, start to go off. You can see my hand moving around it. I'll dial this down a little bit so it doesn't do it quite so bad. Okay, there. Now, let's see if I can get it to go with the earth ground here. If I t You'll be able to hear this. When I get this close, it'll go off. Let's see if I can back up a ways here. And that's making a connection to the earth and causing that to gain power in transmission. And I checked this with the radio, and uh, I was not getting any static off of this. So it's, uh, it's more than just radio frequency that we're seeing here. I thought maybe it was just RF, but it's more than that. It's actually um, a projection of, of energy. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show everybody that I, I was working on something else. Some people wanted to know if I was still involved with this, and I am. And uh, 
Anyway, this was the uh, Tesla's wire energy, wireless radiant energy transmission experiment with um, Nat and Bodkins over at the Energetic Forum.